Hey guys, Kev here, and I have unboxings to do for you. So, uh, real quick, I might as well tell you what I'm carrying because I'm excited. I got the Hogue Counter Strike on me. Absolutely love this knife. Uh, shout out to Blade Ops for sending this my way. I will link them down below. As I record this, there's actually a couple of these available on their website. They have them priced at $296. $300 on the mark, basically, for a Hogue Counter Strike. That price to me is fantastic. Uh, you look around the OTF market, I feel like Microtechs are not made all that well. They have a lot of play, and, and um, this does have play as well, but it's not crazy. Um, it's less than any Microtech I've handled, and the action, super snappy. And more importantly, the design itself is fundamentally good. Like, it's a nice, thin knife. It's comfortable in the hand. That G10 instead of aluminum feels really warm and, and nice, and it feels welcoming versus, you know, aluminum. And it comes with a nasty glass breaker on it, but they give you a little screw. You can just take it off and pop this on. Boom. Bob's your uncle. The only thing I don't love is this little tab right here for, like, a lanyard thing. I don't know why that's there. I would love to have somebody just zank that off for me, and I'd be good to go, but... Um, overall, it's fantastic. Has a wonderful blade, and you know Hogue. They grind and sharpen their knives like no other, so that one's going to be baller. And then I have a OCD for EDC slip. I think it's Rogue Armory slip. And in here, I have my Jack Wolf knives. Big bro Jack. I eeny, meeny, miny mode today and grab the uh, Nebula. I also have the Gecko Big Bro that I bought. Um, well, I think I bought this one and the Gecko was the review sample. I can't remember, but I was so excited to get back into Jack Wolf season that I, uh, I bought one. So that's how much I love these guys. I'm really excited. And I'm glad I did because both of them are fantastic and I don't know which one I like better. So it's basically awesome that I have both. And I kind of want a third one in Sunset, but I am going to try to refrain from being a maniac. I also could get one in copper because I have the little bro in copper. But then the little bro is going to come out, so I don't know. See? Walk and talk's money. Ergo's money, dude. Just another home run. And that spring is fantastic. So, um, let's open up this one. This one's from the James brand. So, the James brand... Um, reached out or I, I can't remember what happened. I bought some of their stuff and then I think I reached out to them and then they reached back out to me later because they didn't respond right away. And um, they sent me a James Brand Ellis to check out. And I actually really like that. It has scissors on it. Um, it's a little multi-tool. I think it's really good if you're somebody who maybe works in an office and doesn't want to carry three knives or a pouch or whatever you could just carry that and have a blade a scissors and a kind of pry situation i think that's really nice um so they did come out with a new version of it it's called the ellis slim um i have a little card in here it says keep up the amazing content hope you enjoy the new ellis slim your friends the james brand all right so we get a little personalized letter that's really cool um i appreciate that as you guys know, there's a link down in the description to the James brand. You can use that link and my code, LeftyEDC, that will get you 10% off any orders on their website. I do not get any commission. Of course, they did send me this to check out, so I got something for it, but um, I'm not promoting this for commission or anything like that. And even if it did have commission, it wouldn't change anything, but I just like to put everything out there because I'm over transparent. As some would say, you can see right through me. Um, but yeah, you can use that link and 10% off. Hey, um, so this is the Slim Ellis and I'm hoping it comes with a slip because this is one of the models where, um, let's see. Oh no, usually there's a slip in here. They stopped doing that, I guess. Or maybe they don't do it with certain knives, but this is a knife that would be perfect for a slip. You know, I would take this clip off, which I will, and oh my God, this is thin. Wow, this is really, really nice, guys. Holy shit, look at that. Look how thin that is. That's nice. I, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the wire clip just because 
it's so thin i'd be i'd rather just not have a clip but you can do that um so i probably will i just said that why am i repeating myself so here's the jackal I'll just show you the thickness really really thin there um uh, let's see how the walk and talk is yeah same kind of uh very uh mushy feeling but it's still fine and if you uh oiled the tangs and everything i think you can get it to be uh decent but it snaps closed all right it's just that um to the half stop it's very mushy like the half stop's just not good you see that it doesn't spring to the half it just kind of like gets there um that's something you could easily change with better geometry on your uh tang corners if you watch this james brand i would highly recommend you invest a little bit of time into how you uh do the tang corners on your half stop because to somebody who likes slip joints and likes the fidget factor this is super satisfying feeling that hop to the half stop is just very satisfying you hear how it's bouncing this doesn't do that right so that would be really nice to have just saying um, this is really comfortable in hand. I love this slim blade. Wow, this is nice. Um, they do send their products uh, really sharp. They do a good job with that. I believe these are made overseas, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, this is 12C27. So this is the um, same as the other Ellis I have. Um, the Ellis with the scissors that I have, it was, or is, sorry, I believe $119. If you get it on with my discount, it's... Um, you know, like 110 bucks, you get that one. So I'm hoping this one's gonna be closer to, you know, 75 bucks or less because, you know, you're talking about 12C and G10. Honestly, this should be $50. Um, and some would argue it should be like 30, but, um, you know, considering it's James brand, you know, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be like 75 bucks. Um, which if you're into the, the brand, if you're into the model, if you like the slim nature of it and everything, I think it's fine. I mean, 75 bucks, you know, and they, they've explained, if you want to know, people always ask, why is their stuff so expensive? And I agree their stuff is expensive, but, um, I watched an interview with, um, the, uh, owner, I believe the creator of James brand on blade HQ, try to find that if you can. And he basically said, we're expensive because we have to be, right? Like, the people at James Brand aren't driving around in Lamborghinis and flashing around, you know, uh, Bugattis and waving their, you know, Rolexes around. I mean, at least I don't think so. Um, what he said was, we have a team, right? They have a team of people, and then they have um, really high-level design and marketing, right? And that costs buku bucks to get your name spread out all over the place costs money and that means your products have to cost more right you have to make money and you have to um market and and do all this shit so you have to pay your employees well you know hopefully they give them insurance and 401ks and you can't do that if you charge 30 dollars for this even if it costs 10 or 15 to make if you charge 30, it's just not enough to cover all that stuff. So you as the consumer, me as the consumer or reviewer, my job is to take that and do with it what I will, right? Do I like this knife enough to dish out the extra 40 bucks that it costs, even though it's worth technically materials wise and everything less? You know what I mean? And for me, if the design catches my eye, if I like the product enough, I will pay extra for it. I'll pay more for it. That doesn't bother me. Um, so hopefully that explains it a little bit. I know some of you are still gonna leave those comments and be like, yeah, but I don't care. And that's fine. This isn't for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not for you. Um, I'm noticing a hole in the back of the spring. It's interesting. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm gonna try to get it to pop up. There you go. So you can kind of see that hole in the spring down there. I don't know what that's for, but there is a hole there. I don't know if it's to um, 
help relieve or add pressure or something to the walk and talk. It's feeling a little tight right now, a little gritty, so I need to oil it. Um, once I put some uh, KPL in here, it's gonna it's gonna start shining. Um, but you know, this happens. It's happened to me with Jack Wolf, so it's not like you know. Um, but it feels really good, guys. I, I like the slim nature of it. This is cool. Um, this is something I'm gonna probably take the clip off of, throw in a nice slip, and um, just drop you know in somewhere in a pouch or in my truck or you know something like that and then you have you know you have a little pry end a uh, flathead and a knife when you need it you know i don't know if the size would work for travel but uh this could be a good travel companion because you know you have that flathead for other stuff um in a pinch and then you have a, just a nice simple thin blade that's a slip joint so it's universally accepted um at least mostly I just don't know if the blade length is, um, it might need to be under three inches or two and a half or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's cool, the G10's finished nice, the, the hardware's good, I like the little uh, crest or keystone or whatever we call those now. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is nice. I would, I would have loved to have tried one of their aluminum models, that is what I asked for, um, but yeah. Um, cause I'm just curious how it feels compared to the G10. Cause I like the aluminum on the Palmer I have. That's one of my favorite products they make is the Palmer little utility knife. My wife uses it every day and loves it. Um, so easy to use and swap the blades on. It's just perfect for, uh, non knife folks to use. But yeah, wire clips good. Yeah, it's solid. It's an Ellis. And uh, it's just slimmer and has no scissors. So now you have options. If you want the scissor version, you can get that. If you want to get scissored. Um, <laughs> and if you just want the blade. Um, I love a thin slip joint. It's one of my favorite things. Um, and I think they nailed the thickness on this. You can actually see they milled the scales to kind of... Uh, this is really cool. Look at that. You can see that the scale is like milled here and then it gets thinner back here. Can you see that? See that transition right here? Same at the front. It's just kind of cool how they did that. And then the blade falls in there and then the tip falls into that thinner area. It just looks unique. That's a very, very cool design feature. Little touch there. Um, I would have never thought to do or anything. Um, the spring is sticking out a little bit in the closed position sticking out a whole heck of a lot in the uh, half stop position look at that and then open it is sticking out just a little bit so it is not flush in any position um which you know in terms of basic slip joint uh etiquette you know it should be flush in all three um, but they're not going for, they're not going for this market, you know, like this is perfectly flush. I mean, I don't even have to check. I haven't checked, but I don't have to, um, perfectly flush at the half. And then yeah, you can see it pop up, pop back down, perfectly flush when open. Um, that is a, that is a marker of a quality slip joint. Um, this is not meant to be that. This is not meant to be in that market. This is for people who are just buying a knife to carry and use. And it's not a collector piece, if that makes sense. Um, you know, and I feel like their market a lot of times is the one knife guy. You know, the guy who just buy it and forget it kind of thing. Throw it in their backpack for hiking or whatever. And they have a, and they have a knife. That's kind of their market. That guy does not care about the spring. But I do want to point it out because for me, I don't like that. I want it to be flush, obviously. Um, I like the edges. I like how the edges of the scales are all kind of tapering down and around. It's really nice to see that. Um, the nail nick, while it's very modernized, but again, they're not going for that modern traditional market. Um, and to be fair, James Brand has been doing this for a long time. I mean, they've been they've had the Ellis out for a long time. So before this modern traditional thing even got started, 
Um, so again, not what they're going for. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see the half is not too crisp, but it's good. I mean, it feels good in hand. It's got a good spring on the open, so you're not going to accidentally close it on yourself unless you're really trying. Um, you can one hand close it, obviously, if you want to. What else? Um, I think that's it. I mean, you have a, uh, a flat grind there. Nice flat grind, looks good. Um, it has a, does it have a stop pin? I believe it does, should have a stop pin. Oh, wow. Dude, the design features on this really just stand out to me. Um, it has a stop knob. That is unique as hell, okay. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. It's not bottoming out. So I don't know if you guys can see in there. I'll, I'll do a video desktop style. You see a little knob down there? See that? So instead of having a full length stop pin traveling through the back, they have this little knob that sticks out of uh, this, this scale. And it sticks out like a third of the way or halfway across the, the uh, spring. So that way, when the blade, because all that knob is supposed to do is stop the blade from over traveling. So it's not, it doesn't need to be a full length stop pin. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. It just needs to stop the blade from bottoming out. And that is fucking cool. I've never, I've never seen that before. That's unique. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I think that's it guys. That is the Ellis Slim or the Slim Ellis. Nope. The Ellis Slim. This is the black and stainless G10 straight edge. This comes in a combo edge, and I believe it comes in aluminum and G10. As far as I know, they have black and canary, which is yellow, I think. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna have blue and, and, and all that shit too. So keep an eye out. Um, they sent me this, so I don't know if it's available yet. I hope so. This won't post right away. It'll post a week or two later. So hopefully by then it is available if you're interested. Link is down below. Use the code LEFTYEDC. Thank you to the James brand. I appreciate you sending this my way. This is really cool. I'm actually uh, I'm actually happy to have it and own it. And uh, I, will, I will carry and use this. I will find a way. Um, it probably won't make it as like a primary, you know, knife like this. But I think it'll be really good for a pack or pouch um, or as a backup or something. It's so slim. This would be a great gift too. Um, to the people in my life, like my dad or grandpa, who give no shits about walk and talk or any of that, you know, 75, 80 bucks, I hope it'll probably be a hundred if I'm if I'm <laughs> if I'm guessing, but I'm gonna hope it's 75 or 80 tops. Um, you know, this is a really cool gift to give somebody, really easy to use. Um, the spring is 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 lighter, you know, it's not too light, but it's you know, it's probably a five. Um, so they're going to easily manipulate it, you know, um, it's very pinchable. It's got the clip if they need it, but you can also remove that. It's just, you know, it's got simplicity and it's thin. Like I could even gift this to my mom or wife and they can drop it in their purse kind of situation. So, um, I'm finding a lot of pros here, you know, um, I pointed out the cons as well for you guys, but, um, to me so far, the pros are, are heavily outweighing the cons. Um, yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Appreciate it. Love you guys. Hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.